I did my graduate work at the Condé School in Lyon and Studio M in Montpellier, France. At the time, I wanted to become an illustrator. When I left school, I was a 3D artist for an architectural firm. But it was not creative enough for me. I wanted to do something more artistically challenging. I wanted to work with video games. Something clicked when I discovered the profession of concept artist. It's where two things that interest me the most, art and video games, come together. I studied and practiced until my output was professional. Then I canvassed businesses until they offered me my first contract as a concept artist. Most of my work is freelance. I also taught art at the Belcoux School in Lyon, France for two years. I also co-founded Rattel Studio with three others. Rattel Studio is our lab for concepts, a place where we can try out new ideas and work on what we want. This is where I learned to be artistic director for different projects. No, at first Beyond the Void was a personal project. I wanted to make a 2D game with long matches. Initially, it was called Space Conquer and had more of a tower defense strategy. Then the concept evolved to having shorter matches with more active gameplay. It became Beyond the Void when Eric joined me. He's the one who brought the business aspect to Beyond the Void using blockchain technology. When Eric told me about using the blockchain for transactions in the Beyond the Void store, it seemed a good idea. Though I was also concerned whether the technology was suitable for video games and, if so, how to integrate it. It was Remy who put those ideas into practice and helped us meet the requirements of using the blockchain. I think the game has what it takes to succeed. We've taken some of the most popular game patterns and forged them into something new. And we've created a new economic model for a community of players who have evolved.